Okay, this will be part 7 in the series about how to set up your Raspberry Pi to monitor a greenhouse or anything else remote. Uh, this video would be about how to create a database for your new Raspberry Pi as well as enable remote login from MySQL so you can access it from anywhere for easy remote management. Along the way you'll learn how to log into MySQL via command line and run your first MySQL statement as well as how to log in with MySQL Query Browser so you can make database changes easily when installing or adding sensors to your Raspberry Pi. Um, so once we get through this you'll understand how to log into MySQL Query Browser. I think in part 8 I will go into using the Query Browser to edit the database. That said, let's get started. First, you'll need to log in to your Raspberry Pi through SSH, or alternatively, go to the desktop and go start, uh, and then I think it's programs or accessories, something like that, terminal. Uh, we looked at how to do that in previous videos, so if you're not familiar with how to do that, please go back and watch one of those videos. Um, so let's get started. So first command is sudo su to get to the root root user root permissions and then we're going to want it's we're going to want to edit the etc mysql my.cnf file uh, you can do that one of two ways you can just type <laughs> nano etc mysql my.cnf and edit it or you can uh, change directories to it uh, we won't go into that. We covered how to change directories and that sort of stuff in the previous video here. So, uh, we need to edit this file. We need to change one setting in this file. If you page all the way... Uh, hold on. If you page down, you'll find a setting called bind IP address. And we're going to put a hashtag in front of it to comment it out so that it isn't uh, so that the uh, connection to MySQL will not be restricted to the IP address so right here you can see bind IP address by default this will look like this all you gotta do to comment this out is put a hashtag in front of it and then after you do that you do control X followed by Y for yes and then it'll ask you if you want to write to the same place and you just hit enter and now you've saved it and you've changed it so that's the first part of this is editing okay. that conf file so we've edited the my.cnf file that's complete now we're going to go ahead and log into MySQL with the command that we learned before and the password that we set up before we're logged into MySQL and we're going to create our first SQL statement. So, this is where things have to be precise because if you don't do this correct, you won't be able to log into your Pi with the username and password that you want to create. So, if you go here and look at this line, grant all privileges on star dot star to username at IP identified by password with grant option. Uh, so what we're going to do is go in here and edit this line before you copy and paste it into MySQL. And you're going to change it to the name of the users and uh, to the user that you created and the password that you created with that user on the previous video. So for example mine will be test and test like from the previous video and uh, where IP is, this is uh, you'll change it to percent. Okay. Now, what that does is grant all privileges to that user from any IP address and identifies that user using the password. Okay. So this is a statement that you want to issue into MySQL, and you'll get a response back from MySQL. So all you got to do once you've set that up for the correct username and password and change that to percent is right click um, right click to paste it in and hit enter 
and you'll see query okay zero rows affected and that's fine so that's done the next thing we need to do is to kind of clean up from what we just did using the command flush privileges hit enter again it accepts the query and we're done with that part okay so we're gonna jump out now using quit or exit and we're going to restart my SQL actually we probably don't need to do that since we flushed privileges but just to be sure and also so that you learn how to restart my SQL without rebooting the whole machine uh, most services on a Linux based system can be restarted without restarting the actual machine um, so a little different from Windows in that regard okay so you get an OK back restarting my SQL that worked alright good uh, so now we're going to go back into my SQL again using my SQL u root p ask you for your password enter your password okay we're in we're gonna create a database now so where it says database name pick the database that you want to create um, so in my case I'm gonna create a database called greenhouse alright so replace the database with one the name you want to call it uh, I will warn you this stuff is case sensitive so if you call it capital G R E E N H O S E that would be different than the lowercase g greenhouse just so you understand so we're going to create a database oh my bad drop the brackets there you go now we've created the database and we're going to do a command call show data bases semicolon and you'll see now that we have the greenhouse database there uh, another thing I could do is drop database which is basically delete greenhouse semicolon and then if I go back and do show databases now you'll see that greenhouse is now gone and of course I can go back and do create database greenhouse again and we'll show databases again and you can see it's back so just to so understand that's how you create a database now the database will be the place where we'll house information uh, be that data we're collecting uh, or control of data fields or uh, numerous other things you can do date time you can do so many things it's ridiculous so I won't go uh, deep into that at the moment so now we have our database set up we can exit again and we're out of my SQL um, if you have not downloaded this yet you'll want to go ahead and download and install MySQL Query Browser this is a very handy tool for uh, navigating and editing a database so first I'll just show you that uh, I, I'm logged in uh, from before without the database greenhouse that we just created in command line uh, what I'll do is close this back out and start it back up and I'll show you how to set it up so you want MySQL query browser and then you'll want to create your connection so for example I called it trainer uh, we're using the username test you can save the password in here um, I personally don't recommend it because then anybody who gets to your computer can log into your database and mess with it and uh, databases are very complex and so you don't really want somebody who doesn't know what they're doing playing with it uh, anyway uh, so I don't leave the password there and then where it says host name uh, you put the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that you want to log into just as we discovered with angry IP scanner in the initial videos uh, you leave it default at port 3306 we have not changed that you can change that if you like and if you're planning to work on your Pi remotely you'll want to go into your uh, cable or DSL or whatever your internet service provider router is and port forward this port out to another port and you'll log in remotely from outside your router that's a whole other topic just wanted to make that point so this is your new connection and you hit apply uh, to save it obviously I haven't made any changes 
and we'll go ahead and log in and there you go so now we're logged in and we can see the database greenhouse and we'll just uh, We'll just uh, make it the default schema quick, and uh, we'll see. See, there's no tables in here at all. So the next session that we'll do here, um, after this video, it'll be part eight, is we'll learn how to create a new table. Um, so we'll get to that next time. Uh, but this is just a taste of how you would get into it. Uh, anyway, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Uh, if you've had any run into any errors or issues or had any problems, by all means, please comment down below. Uh, if you have questions, I will be glad to answer them. Um, I think that covers it all. Uh, let me just check my list here. Yeah. All right. So thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. I hope you'll join us next time. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, messing around with SQL Query Browser and learning how to change and edit databases and add data. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.